ang analysis number two. So, this one is a balance sheet account. So, suppose that uh, you doesn't know the exact amount of the asset, liabilities, and capital. And you want to, and your boss wants you to analyze the account. So, what will you do? So, here, uh, under balance sheet, so remember that the base is always the asset. So, when we say base, under percentage, it means it's always 100%. So, even though uh, there's no exact amount, you can get and you can analyze what will be the exact amount of asset, liabilities, and capital. Okay? So, let's start. Suppose that this is uh, the, the only given on the asset, liabilities, and capital is 300,000 for the amount of capital and 48% on the amount of liabilities. So, you start with this one. Uh, just remember that the base is always the asset. Okay? So, we put 100 here or 100%. Okay? So, 100 minus 48%. So, what What will be the result? So, it will be 52%. Okay? Okay. So, it means to say that capital is 52% of the total asset. So, what will you do? You just divide. 300,000 or the amount of capital divided by its percentage, then you will get the amount of asset. Okay. So, we have 300,000 divided by 52%. So, the amount of asset is 576 923.08 you can also compute so that uh, you will know if the answer is really 576,923.08. So, because uh, there's already given amount of asset, you, you can deduct or you can multiply the amount of liabilities to 576,000 so that you will exactly know the amount of the missing liabilities. So, we have here 576,000. 923.08 multiplied by 48%. So, we have 276.923.08 or you can deduct 576.923.08 minus 276.923 then the capital is 300,000. So, it means to say that you can compute it's side by side as long as you know already the amount of the base or the percentage of the base, which is asset, and it is 100%. Okay, so let's start with the second example. So the given now is the amount of liabilities is 650,000. And the amount, uh, the percentage of capital is 29%. So what will you do? Again, the base is the asset. So, this one is 100%. 100% minus 29%. So, we have 71% here. So, when you say, you, you need to divide the amount of the liabilities to its percentage so that you will know the amount, the exact amount of asset. So, 650 divided by 71%. So, we have 650 divided by... 71%, so we have 915,492.96. And then, because this one is already given, you can deduct, or you can multiply it to 29%, so that you will know the amount of capital. So, how much? So, we have minus 650, or multiply it by 25%. Uh, 29%, so we have 265,492.96. Okay? 